Before I thought that when I love him, since I love him now, the butterfly in my stomach will always be turning anytime. When we got married, our eyes now clear. Now clear. Now and we now we know that. <laughs> Yeah. Now marriage is hard work. Marriage is hard work. It's not for all yes. like. <laughs> Hello guys, you see me yes. jumping in your channel as if it's my own. Welcome back to Dr. Dr. Besa's corner. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back, treasures. I can know my lovely sister Helen's corner is here with us. So today is going to be a chit. Yes. Our topic today is on. Since we wish we knew before we got married. Yes. And please, if you too, if you are married or you are single and you have some conceptions or things you feel that you have not seen clearly and you understand, please, we love to read them in the comment section. Do well to drop them, even as you like and share this video. Okay. My first point is that love is a choice. Loving your partner, loving your spouse is by choice. It's not by how you feel, but it's by you choosing to do it daily regardless of what is happening okay one of my own in my own side one of the things i wish i knew is that i will not have my life again as in my life will change yeah. if not completely or entirely <laughs> so i wish i knew that my life would change completely because when i got married before i got married i have time of my own i have anything i want to eat when i want to sleep and especially because i was actually working and living on my own in abuja like i just have a life of my own but when i got married things change it's no longer i don't just wake up lock door and go to where i want to go to or just wake up dress and go there are people i must look after in fact at times i can wake up as a single person and eat food and i, I, and I decide i'm not cooking today but now, you can't just decide your cooking. I might decide as a single person that this is what I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat pineapple today only. But now, somebody will tell you, which pineapple? You are who? Which pineapple? Please, 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 I want to eat this, you know. And, you know, you don't want to cook. You have to go to the kitchen. You know, I, just my life just changed now. It's not tied to some, some people. people that <laughs> and that is a must. It's not just something you just leave them and go. It's a must. So this is one thing I never knew. Okay. The second, the for me, the second thing on my list is. I didn't know that marriage can just get you to be so busy, as in you just be busy from morning to night, night. <laughs> or morning to morning. <laughs> self. You just be busy. And funny you. enough is that when you come in, when you ask yourself, what have you been doing? Find out that almost. 90% of your life you are spending it for others and that is one of the beauties of marriage but it's one of the things that needs to tell you that you have to bring out some time for yourself so you don't forget yourself in the business just like she said you don't have your time again 100% so you have to plan very well and in that you're planning make sure you plan your rest I'm not learning to do that in that you're planning make sure you plan your rest make sure you plan time to develop yourself if not you spend money to money taking care of your children, your husband, your parents, as in many people are dragging you, but you need to get time to refuel. So one of the things is I didn't know that marriage will get me to be very busy. One of the things I never knew about marriage is that hey, I'm not going to be marrying my husband alone. Yes. Because initially I, I thought that the way I was dreaming marriage, Dr. Bensa, you need to see. I thought that me and my husband, like when we marry, we we'll just be together. Anyway, I didn't even remember children. I didn't even know that children would be a bother. Like we we'll just be together, we we'll just have fun, you know, visit this, go to this. Uh, my day is only during honeymoon that will happen. Like <laughs> the honeymoon stage of marriage, <laughs> that the people have it. I thought that it would just be all about me, my husband, me, my husband, me, my husband. No external force. But when I got married, and I knew that. Your siblings are part of the marriage. His siblings are part of the marriage. His parents are part of the marriage. Your parents are part of the marriage. Like, this is Africa. You know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, uh, very, very true. So for me, my, my next point is that you have to continue doing what you are doing that made your spouse to get attracted to you and that's why it's very good to live a very neutral life neutral, uh, that be don't yourself. be fake be because yourself. if you are uh, if you are 
Waki waki type. Uh -huh. And maybe when you saw your husband, you to start pretending. You will, you will be uncomfortable in your marriage. If you were a prayer warrior and that was what brought your husband, you need to as entice your prayers. If you were one chiquito before you got married, continue make sure chiquito. you have to be continue chiquito. So marriage is hard work. You don't just say, hey, because I've gotten my husband, I have to relax and do whatever I want. All those things, I was doing it because I was looking for husband. No. Ah. At least those of us married can tell you that it is no. Your Will husband you wants you to continue hey. doing that thing you are doing that got him attracted to you in the first place. So marriage is work. But it's sweet work if you work smartly. I think so. Yes, my next point is strong, you know. I wish I knew I must forgive what I never thought I would ever forgive. Like, there are things that, as a single, I would say, ah, if this guy should try this, that will be the end of the marriage. If he does this, I will just leave. If he does this, I will just disappear. But now in marriage, like, there are things you should... Don't be expecting the unexpected. Like he can just do that thing. What is that worst thing that you feel that if your husband does, you're going to leave? He can just do just that. But if you've decided to be married, you Simple must have to, to prepare married. yourself to stay married. I didn't say you should go and collect the whole beating of your life and somebody will even <laughs> kill you inside. No, but to that. some extent, you should forgive. To some extent, then if there is persistence in what you forgive me, you should now know that okay, it's time for me to go. But you should be prepared to at least forgive for the first time. That's what I'm saying. Okay, for me, my final point is you need to work hard on loving the person how he or she wants to be loved. Because um, this point is based on love languages. You know that five love languages, according to Gary Chapman, we have. Um, physical touch, we have gifts, we have acts of service and others. So you need to work hard to find out how your spouse or partner feels it's important love. And that you invest in loving My own final point is that I never knew marriage is in stages like marriage is a stage. If I let me let me classify it into three stages. Me, I'm already in stage two now. Yes. Like <laughs> marriage now stage. The first stage is the honeymoon stage. The second stage is the hustling stage, and the final stage is the when you guys are old, you know, I don't know if I'll call it reunion stage <laughs> or what, I'm just giving it my own title no, because okay. I've seen that there are now two stages that I've been through in my marriage. The first stage, which is the honeymoon stage, is where it's all about you and your husband, maybe with one child or two, you people are still doing love, there's still time, one child is not a distraction, you know, there's still much time for, for, you, both, for of both of you, you people can just end up like, like, the second stage is the hustling stage, where children now need school fees, you know, money for one person may not really be enough, that's if both of you are trying to put the family together, and Family responsibility are out there. If both of you are first child, first daughter, only child, only daughter, you know. And mm -hmm. this is Africa. You know that you, you you people need to double your hustle stage, stage by stage. But no matter the stage, still try to make sure you you you, you people have time for yourself so that your marriage will not be boring. So thank you. I hope you enjoyed our points. Please, we are looking out for your own points in the comment, comment section. section. Okay. And remember, whenever you see both of us, there is something cooking on Helen's Corner. So do well to go there and watch our video. And by the way, do like and share. See the you next, next time. time in our next video. God Bye. bless you. Bye-bye.